So you've decided that you want to use CockroachDB in your Node.js project, but you aren't sure where to begin. You could use a driver such as Node Postgres to integrate with the database, or maybe you'd prefer to use an object relational mapper or ORM. However, an ORM is just a layer of abstraction built on top of a database driver. This means that understanding how a driver integrates with CockroachDB can give us a deeper understanding of the ORMs as well. In this course, we'll focus on using the Node Postgres driver. Learning to use a database driver allows us to access the database in a more efficient way. The extra layers of abstraction introduced by an ORM have a cost associated with them. In addition, the SQL queries an ORM generates aren't always the most efficient. In some cases, bypassing the ORM and going directly to the driver may improve performance. When integrating with the database using a driver, an important consideration is handling transaction retries. In certain cases, a transaction may be aborted in a manner which allows the transaction to be retried. By default, the driver will just fail the transaction. But by implementing our own transaction retry logic, we can properly recover from these types of errors. Some ORMs will implement this logic automatically. However, it's still useful to understand why it's needed and how it works. We aren't trying to suggest that you shouldn't use an ORM. They are powerful tools and definitely belong in your toolbox. However, there can be a lot of value in understanding how they work under the hood. The first step in deepening that understanding is to learn how to integrate more directly using a database driver such as Node Postgres.